We're going to go over how to teach a phase one heel command. Heel is a very specific position where your dog's front feet should not pass the back of your left heel. When we're teaching heel, we're going to use treats or a toy to reward our dog whenever they're in the right position. The first step in teaching heel is to lure the dog into the stationary position, which is to sit behind your left heel. You want to start off with the dog facing you. Use a treat in your left hand, show the treat to the dog, and you're going to do sort of an arc swinging your arm back behind you and then lift up to finish in the sit position. Gypsy heel. Good girl. If your dog doesn't move out of the heel position, you can just turn and face your dog and start again. Gypsy heel. Good girl. Gypsy heel. Good, good girl. The longer your dog is, the wider your arc has to be. Gypsy's pretty tiny, so I can do a pretty uh, close arc, but the longer your dog is, you're going to have to go out and behind you in a pretty wide arc in the beginning just to teach the dog to turn completely around. If you do it too narrow, you'll notice the dog sits sideways to you, so that'll be an indication that you need to be using a more dramatic arc. Gypsy heel. Girl. With certain dogs, as you try and lure them back behind your leg, sometimes they hesitate a little bit to pass the back of your leg. So an alternate method that you can use is to do a half step back with your left leg so that you're faking moving backwards and it encourages the dog to move behind you. Gypsy heel. Good girl. For dogs that are tentative to move behind you, don't expect the sit once they move into position initially. When they're moving behind you readily, then you can add in the sit. Gypsy heel. Gypsy heel. Good girl. Once your dog is following the lure and is finishing in the sitting position behind your left heel, you're ready to start adding in some movement. Gypsy heel. Good girl. Good girl. You'll notice I only took one step and then fed her once she sat behind my left heel. You want to start small and then gradually add up to more movement. You'll also notice that I kept my left hand behind my left leg. That's to encourage her to stay behind my left heel. Gypsy heel. Good girl. Good girl. Gypsy heel. Good girl. Gypsy heel. Good girl. Good girl. Gypsy. Gypsy heel. Good girl. Good girl. You'll want to use a leash for this command if your dog is easily distracted outdoors or in a group setting. Make sure you don't use the leash to correct your dog into the heel position, but only for regular leash manners. So if your dog is putting tension or pulling you somewhere, you can give your regular leash manners correction. Otherwise, you're going to use the treat as a lure and repeat the heel command. Gypsy heel. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Gypsy. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. The next step is to build on healing for longer periods of time. We're going to start by using an interval reward schedule where we're rewarding the dog every couple of seconds while they're in the heel position. Gypsy, heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. At this stage of training, if your dog moves out of the heel position, all you're going to do is just use the tree to lower the back in position and use the word heel. Gypsy heel. Good girl. 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 Good girl.
Gypsy heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good heel. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Pay attention to your timing. You want to make sure you're only rewarding your dog when they're in the right position. If you're having trouble keeping your dog behind your left heel, troubleshoot your hand position. Make sure you're only delivering treats with your hand behind your left leg. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yep. Good girl. You're going to work on increasing the duration between your interval rewards, so you're only having to reward every 5 or 10 seconds or so. Next, we're going to move on to only rewarding the dog on the free command. Gypsy. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Free. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Free. Gypsy. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Free. Good job. Good girl. That's good. Gypsy. Good girl. Gypsy heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Free. Good. As you're practicing heel, you want to start adding in things like changing your pace or right and left turns or even stepping to the side. You want to teach your dog to follow you in all different contexts. If your dog steps out of place, just use the treat as a lure and reward them once they get back into the heel position. Gypsy heel. Good girl. 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 Gypsy heel. Good girl. Gypsy. Good girl. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Heel. Heel. Good girl. 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 Good girl.